Hello my loves and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be creating a makeup look using a brand new eyeshadow palette. This palette is new in my makeup collection. I'm going to be using this one by Morphe. It is the 35V Stunning Vibes Eyeshadow Palette. I actually had to look at the box. <laughs> In this palette, you do get 35 beautiful shades. It's a mixture of both matte and shimmer colors. I did open it up and this is how it looks. I absolutely love the shades. The colors are so pretty. I'm so excited to play around with them. Honestly, this will be my first time basically creating a look using this eyeshadow palette. What's also nice is that it does come with this sheet so you can see exactly the name of each shade, which I will tell you as we're going through the makeup tutorial. So if you want to see the look that I do come up with using this new Morphe eyeshadow palette, then keep on watching. So first things first is I'm going to be moisturizing my face. I do go in with my Clean and Clear Gel Moisturizer, which is a great drugstore moisturizer, especially if you're on a budget. It feels really good on the skin, but I did want to change it up for today. I'm going to go in with the Drunk Elephant Pro Teeny Polypeptide Cream. This is a great moisturizer you can use in the during the day or even as a night moisturizer as well. What I absolutely love about this one is that it doesn't clog my pores. I don't feel oily after the product is on my skin. What's really important for me is that when I do wear a moisturizer that it sinks into my skin and it feels smooth on top and that's exactly what happens when I wear this moisturizer. Also it's very light so that's also another great benefit about this moisturizer. Okay, so next I'm going to be priming my eyelids. I'm going to go in with my Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. Oh, I did forget to <laughs> prime my face. I did prime my eyelids first, and that's okay. It doesn't matter which way you... Um, which order you do it in, but I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Pro Face Primer. I don't need to prime my entire face. Usually I just go where my the pores are the largest on my face, which is like the T-zone area. So now we're going to go into the Morphe 35V eyeshadow palette. I am going to set the eyeshadow base that's on my eyelids and I'm going to use this color right here which is called Go Nude. Okay, so now we're going to go into a transition shade. I'm going to go into, oh, I'm going to go into this one right here, this light shade. It's called Scandal, and we're going to place that all over our crease. And I'm just bringing up that color towards my brow bone area and then blending it back down. Okay, so now we're gonna go into a darker shade and we're gonna place it all over our lid. We are going to go into this one called In The Zone. So it looks just like this. And this is also a matte shade. I hope it's focusing. So this is the color that we're gonna use right now. And we're gonna place it all over our lid and we're gonna buff it out into our crease as well. I'm just kind of starting in the middle and going towards the outer part of my eyelid. Okay. 
I'm just gonna take that fluffy brush with nothing on it and just blend out the edge. Okay, so next we're gonna go into a shimmer shade. We're gonna take that color and place it all over our eyelid, basically on top of that brown shade that we just used. So this is the shimmer shade that we're gonna go into. It is called Polish, which looks like that. It's so pretty. Yeah. Okay, so my camera did stop recording. I don't know why, but I'm not sure if it caught, if it, um, Film the part where I put the shimmer shade on my, um, on, on, I don't know if it actually caught the part where I put a shimmer shade all over my eyelid. So just to go back, I did put this shimmer shade right here, which is called Polished, all over my eyelids, basically on top of that brown shade that we previously used. So it's this one right here, which was called In The Zone. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the darkest shade in the eyeshadow palette and we're going to place that in the outer part of our eyelid. So going back into the palette, this is the darkest shade right here. It's called Little Black Book. I'm gonna take one of my smaller blending brushes as you can see. The difference, this is a little bit bigger. We're gonna go with the smaller one just so we have more control of that color. And we're just gonna start really lightly. We're just going to pat down that color. See, as you can see, it's pretty pigmented. So I just zoomed in a little bit. You really gotta have a light hand, like really softly tap that color just into the outer part of the eyelid. And now going into your bigger, fluffier brush, you're just going to lightly again blend out the edge so it, there's, so it looks seamless. And we're just going to bring it, just blending it as much as we can. Okay, so we are almost done with the eyes. We still have to do the lower lash line, but first we're gonna put it on foundation, concealer, and all that good stuff first before we go back to the eyes. I'm going to do my concealer, my eyebrows, and put on false lashes off camera. I will show you the products afterwards, and then we will come back to the eyes. So I will be right back. All right, guys, so I just finished putting on my foundation. I did go in with my usual Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color Ivory. I also did my brows. I went in with my usual Essence um, eyebrow pencil in the color brown. And for my lashes today, I went in with one of my favorites, the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. So I just put those on right now too. Next, we're gonna be concealing, I'm gonna be concealing my face. I'm gonna go in to my CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the color Porcelain. Now I'm going to go in with my MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Powder in NC20 to set the concealer and the foundation.
Okay, so now I'm going to be contouring my face. I'm going to go in with my usual BH Cosmetics Studio, Studio Pro Contour Palette. So next I'm going to go into blush. I'm going to go into my CoverGirl Cheekers blush in the color Natural Rose. Next, I'm going to be highlighting my face. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the color Rose Gold Molten. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the eyes. We're going to finish them off. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go back into that brown shade called In The Zone, which is this one right here. And we're going to place that all over our lash line. take that dark one that I'm just gonna go into this dark one as well it's called little black book I was just looking at the scrum at the sheet and I'm going to put that just in the outer part of the outer part of the lower lash line and just blend it out Now for my lower lashes, I'm just going to go in with my usual L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in the color black. So for my inner tear duct and my brow bone, I just went in with my Maybelline highlighter, the Master Chrome in the color Rose Gold Molten. Now for the lippies, I'm thinking to go in with a red color. First, I'm going to be lining my lips. I'm going to be using this lip liner by Essence. It is called Femme Fatale, and I'm going to line my lips.
Now I'm going to go into uh, the cream lip stain by Sephora. It's called Always Red. Okay, so the last step is just setting the entire makeup. I'm going to go in with my Garnier Skin Active Hydrating Facial Mist, and it's going to just, it smells so good, and it's going to like keep my makeup in place. All right, guys, that comes to the end of today's makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I hope you learned something new. I love this palette. There are so many beautiful shades in here. You can just, I don't know, go crazy, create different looks. And I really do like the look that I came up with for today's tutorial. Also, the shades in here are really pigmented, which is a huge plus. They blend really well together. Anyways, that is all I've got to say today. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.